Hi, Michelle. Hello. Hi. I was just telling people that you did categorize the questions again, and that we hope I, I, that you can answer them or most of them at all. I did. I was just changing my name here. I left the questions oh, downstairs, yeah. so I'm out of breath. So I just ran <laughs> yeah, all the questions. Your workout. Your workout. <laughs> that I intricately cut and pasted on my technological paper that I have here. I you should have me... done something creative, Michelle. You're so good at this. It is. It's cut and paste. It's creative. <laughs> Do you okay. have your drawing? I got all shit here. <laughs> so who's here? The chat's empty. Is anybody? Um, is everybody here? Anybody here? We're here on the right time. Oh, oh yes. Hi, good, good, good. hi Emma. Sherry. Hi. hi, everybody. Hi, David. All right. So listen, we'll go through this like we did it last week. And um, if anybody wants to chime in, we'll try and keep up on the chat. I know sometimes there's so many um, chats that go by, we can't read them all. But anybody who has something that might fit into these categories, pop up on the chat and let us know. And we'll try and grab some questions from there too. All right. Right. Ready? Cool. Let's get started. Okay. So we had a few questions come in that all seemed look like that fit under this category of physical sort of stuff, physical sensations. And yes, this is being recorded just to let everybody know this is being recorded. Um, it'll be accessible to people that are part of the premium app membership. Um, you should be getting, um, an email with a link to this recording after this is posted. Okay. Um, so again, physical sensations, a lot of, is this normal? Um, is this common sort of thing? So uh, let me read the questions and then um, and one, two, three, four, five of them. Okay. Dear Dare team, I have a bladder frequency and also a lot of pain in my butt muscles on one side. Have you heard from others about these two symptoms? If so, are they common in anxiety? This is, this is probably the most common kind of question we get. Um, like, is this normal? Here's the next one. Is it normal to experience DP and DR constantly? Sometimes it's stronger than other times, but generally I feel a constant sense that I'm in an alternate reality or a different dimension. We actually wrote, that was today's daily dare. You guys should go take mm -hmm. a look at today's daily dare and see my little post about it on the, um, on the Facebook page. Um, it's so strong. I feel zero sense of self on a daily basis. Now it's very hard to accept and allow. Um, so I know that's not necessarily a physical thing, but it's another, is this normal? Is this normal? Is this normal? Um, here's another question. I also have a problem with my chest being tight and heavy, but lots of times I'm anxiety free and I still have a heavy chest and tightness. There's nothing physically wrong with me. And it concerns me why this happens. Do I have anxiety and not know it? If I don't have it, when I wake up in the morning, I just don't understand it. Thank you. Um, here's another one. Is it normal to shake all day straight? And, and then the last one, I have BPPV and just had another episode of intense vertigo. It was resolved by the, um, this says reply maneuver, but I'm, I'm guessing you meant to write um, the Epley remover. Um, when I check the, the symptom of vertigo on the affected side, it is gone. This triggered my GAD and my somewhat improved symptoms are back in full. What can I do to help with the GAD when I know there will be more episodes in the future? So these sort of all kind of go together with this, what's wrong with me? Is this normal? Is this anxiety or is this a problem? Why do I still feel things that I don't feel like I should feel even if I'm having less anxiety? Um, it always comes down to this, is this normal or is there something wrong with me? Is, that's the sense I got from those. Yes, absolutely. And I think this is the question we hear the most. Does anybody ever mm -hmm. dot, dot, dot? Um, and it's normal. You see, you guys, we understand you. Like when you experience something new, of course you're afraid, like what is going on, especially when you can can find an obvious reason for it. And it's true that anxiety, when we think of anxiety, we think of it being emotional and mental, but it's actually very, very, very physical. The stress system kicks in and does a lot of different things in your body. So, and when we are sensitized, we notice everything more, much more than we normally would, and we assign danger to it. So my first advice would be always, always get a physical exam, get a thorough medical exam, if it's only to put your mind at ease. And if you know that it is really only anxiety, then you dare through it, meaning you diffuse 
the the danger the label of danger that you have put on it like this could mean x y and z um, you diffuse that fear and that fight of it and you just allow your body to do the strange things and i know it's uncomfortable yes it is it wouldn't be uncomfortable it wouldn't be anxiety right but just deal through it and to take care of your physical body of your physical needs eat right hydrate yourself try to sleep well if you can and just stick it through Right. And exactly this question that just was posted, why do we get weird physical sensations even when we're not anxious? Because everybody gets weird physical sensations because we have weird bodies. Bodies are weird. We, we expect them to oh, always be like this all the time, unless there's a reason and it's a good reason. If I think it's a good enough reason and then it, it should feel something. And if there's no reason for it, then I should always just sort of feel fine. It's not true. Bodies do a lot of little blips and zaps and skip things. And it's not always like, you know, we get the little twitchies in our eyebrows, get a little gas on the side. Sometimes your muscles are sore. We are just really good at our go-to is why, why it's our favorite letter of the alphabet, right? Who loves that letter? Who's all, how, how many people are even in this chat? I can't even tell. Oh, 47 people on here. Who likes the letter Y, right? Why am I feeling this feeling? Same thing, exactly what Aida said. Like my, I've been alerted to something, whether it's pain or something's different, right? It's either something's uncomfortable or something's different. So notice it. First things first, danger, right? If there is, attend to it. Emergency services. If it feels different, it feels uncomfortable, reminds me of danger. What if it's danger? We know all that. Same thing. You can go see a doctor. It's not either I see a doctor or I dare through everything. You could do both. You can, but it doesn't always have to be emergency response to being an alert, like an alerted to something. So I can go see, oh, something's been going on lately. And I'm going to go and get this checked out like next week or with an appointment. And I can always keep tabs on my body, right? I have a, we tend to have very heightened awareness. So we're going to notice things. So is this common? And is this common with anxiety? I, first of all, start using that word because I hear, is this normal? And that's the word that usually trips us up because if somebody's saying, right, is this normal? It's usually because it if could it's be not. A, yeah. Because if it's not. <laughs> right. Right. Then, then it's danger. It's either normal or danger. Let's just say common. Let's just go with that first. And then guess what? The answer is probably always. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you have not heard in anxiety, Michelle, physical sensations? We had everything, you guys, everything from brain zaps that nobody could really explain in detail. It just feels like your brain mm -hmm. is zapping. To, to everything else, to muscle twitching, to weird sensation in your lung, to an itch on your back, to tingling sensations, numbing sensations in the face. There are so, so many physical manifestations of anxiety. And of course, there's all this energy. <laughs> there's all this energy in your body, as Michelle says, with no place to go. So it needs to, to express somewhere. And usually it does manifest in physical sensations right? right so your body's already going to do physical things and then if we go oh, what's that right now our alarm rings and our alarm comes with a whole bunch of physical sensations because it puts us into this fight or flight mode and it's supposed to amp up your heart rate it's supposed to make you feel tense and tight and tunnel vision and like you're like that's what's supposed to happen if it didn't like those are our ancestors who got eaten by everything not us. We got the hell out of there. Right. So our bodies responded to danger. Great. And we are who's let, who's like the generations from the people who did survive. So, and then it's a twofold of, I feel uncomfortable. And now my uncomfortable alert system is showing me more discomfort. And then people are like, is this a thing? Is this something wrong with my body or is this anxiety? And it's, it's always kind of like the same sort of answer. Yes. Everything's common everywhere right? We, I've never seen anything posted on the Facebook pages where the response wasn't, oh, I've never, never no, never, <laughs> never. Like what? What are you talking about? That sounds weird. No, never. And another good advice is though next time, whenever you experience a sensation that you are not comfortable with and 
if you're sure it's nothing medical, of course, that goes without saying, then instead of starting to Google and to ask somebody, is this normal? Is this common? Why don't you try and reassure yourself by, for example, saying, you know what, I'm going to watch this for three days. And if it's still there in three mm -hmm. days and it's still worrying me, then I can go and have it checked out. That will be one thing. And the second thing is when your anxious mind tells you, oh, this is, this could be cancer, this could be a stroke, this could be this or that, then try to find reasons what else it could be. You know, notice that your anxious mind is jumping to the worst conclusions and try to bring some perspective into that and say, okay, I have a headache. Well, what else could it be? Oh yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't drank anything today or just one glass of water. So let me drink some water and then let's see. Or any other reason. Try to put things in perspective and, and to be your own friend and to reassure yourself. Right. Because it's, it's pointing out one particular situation. It's probably pointing out the one thing you really don't want it to be, right? It's never like, what if you kind of have a little bit of a cold and it goes away in two days? It's like, what if you die? <laughs> Always so die, go crazy, or it stays here forever, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, you can have a whole board of things here with a bunch of different words and your alarm's just going, what about that? Look at it, say, okay, maybe, or what if it's that? Maybe, or what if it's that? And then you start kind of rather than tunnel vision into the one thing you don't want it to be just because you're having discomfort that reminds you of that worst case scenario. It becomes more of like, you put more distance between it, more of like a suggestion, like a, huh, maybe, hmm, maybe, because remember, it's how you treat how you feel. It's not how you feel, it's how you treat how you feel. So even that question, is it normal to shake all day straight? Sure. If you're scared all day, you're shaking all day and you're, there's a good chance you will keep yourself in scared mode. If you're fighting something all day, we are just very good at fighting the part of us that helps us fight. So if you're shaking and you're like, oh, I don't want to be shaking, let's fight shaking. Your alarm helps you find more shaking and then sends you more energy, which makes you shake more. Does this make sense to everybody? this weird sort of backwards way, this uh, we're fighting discomfort and then our body just creates more discomfort to help us fight the last batch of discomfort. And also guys, it depends on the context, right? Somebody who's shaking all day without any reason, without no anxiety, okay, that would be weird. But if you have anxiety or if you have not eaten the whole day, yeah, maybe you might be shaking. So it really depend, depends on the context. And I think this is also a good way to practice reassuring yourself. Like what is going on? What happened lately? How did my day go? How was my sleep? And if you still can't make any sense out of that, then definitely go and, and get some advice from somebody. Right. And there could be a reason, right? But either way, right now you're shaking, right? So you see a doctor and like, oh, you have blah, blah, blah. And that's what's creating the shaking. Okay. And, and no matter what it is, it'll still come down to the now, because it'll be now, how do you treat this shaking? So if there could be a, a physical reason for it, or it could be your, your focus on it as well, it's okay. So like, just like this, I'm feeling dizzy and weird eye sensations right now. And I am very much scared. 100% how this cycle works. I'm noticing something that I can always go get checked by a doctor. Maybe there's a reason for dizzy. Maybe, but right now I'm treating this right now sensation as right now danger. <coughs> and if I'm treating something as danger, my body sends me fear to help me fight when I'm fighting, to help me keep fighting. So that's how those physical sensations keep going. And the more, it's not just a feeling, it's how you're treating those feelings. Just remember that with dare, right? And you're not gonna dare through it to get rid of it or to use it to see if it's gone. It's, you're going to apply the attitude of dare, which is notice what you feel the moment that you are feeling it without the internal pressure and fight of it. Make sense to everybody on there? Anybody, was that your question? You, if you wanted to pop on and say, hi, do we clarify these? physical things. And sometimes you might have a tight chest for some reason. Maybe you slept funny at night. Maybe you're low in a vitamin. Maybe it doesn't always have to be anxiety. Every discomfort you find in your body doesn't always mean there's something wrong either. Um, and that's sort of where we get stuck to just seeing if we 
Yeah, and I think what, what you could also ask yourself if you feel this heaviness in your chest and you're sure this is not anxiety related, ask yourself what is weighing me down? You know, <laughs> we have a life, not everything is due to anxiety. Maybe you, you had a fight with your spouse or you're having stress at work or something else that is weighing you down that at the moment you're not willing to look at. So you're distracting yourself with, with something else. Um, dare to, to look at it and to ask yourself, is there something that is weighing me down at the moment that needs my attention? 